What the fog home? Come on, why are you stood outside in the tiger poop? Because it's good luck. Who told you that? Fred, Fred and Fred. Ah, oh, they lied, didn't they? Yes. And don't walk in the house with all that on your feet and put your shoes back on. What a doofus. Hello Smeggies, as you can clearly see we've still got three Fweds. They're as annoying as ever, more so than people going on about the X Factor. It turns out that Fwed 2 doesn't like being called Fwed 2 and Fwed 3, well, you get the picture. I know Percy, let's go straight to an episode of... And there's another reason why they've been so annoying. They've been doing that all week, tormenting us. They are quite persistent. And that leads me on to my topic for this week. I've been quite persistent in my running and my writing. And I don't mean at the same time. Why? It's called willpower. In fact, the clue to that answer is in the title of this video. For those of you who watch my vlogs on my second channel. Sit out! I was going to say that! Tough! As I was saying, if you watch my vlogs you will know that I've mentioned willpower quite often lately. I've used it to get back into my running. I'm now doing it twice a week and up to 6 miles per run. And I'm into my writing. I've been doing around 12,000 words in an hour. Hope it is in your memoirs. Willpower is the power of the mind. Once you have that, it simply wills your body into action. Like for example when I was saving up money for my holiday to Los Angeles. Is he ever going to shut up about that? He going about the holiday to the basement too. I'm going to slap them soon. Before I went to LA I set about saving up as much money as possible and as fast as I could. This included cycling to work to save on petrol. I cut out all the sweets to save on money. And I even... <coughs> stopped buying DVDs. In three months I was able to save not just for the holiday itself, but for the spending money too. It was tough, but willpower got me through it. Remember, willpower starts up here. Try it. Find something you want to focus your mind on. Drill it into your mind. Clone one, I didn't mean literally. Oops. Say for example you want to run. Tell yourself you will do it. Choose a route. Ignore all the second guessing like it's too cold or you're too tired and just go. The more you do it, the easier it gets. With writing, I set aside an hour for myself and I just write. I never really think about any of these activities, I just do it. And I always feel proud of myself afterwards. And that keeps fueling your willpower. I'm going to have to use it to stop myself from eating too much. But that's my next target. In a nutshell, make goals for yourself, then focus on them. The more you do it, the more ingrained in your mind it is, and the easier it gets. So, if I was to say, I want to beat the crap out of Fred 2 and Fred 3, I'm going to pull your hair out. What hair? The one in your butthole. Oh, <laughs> good <laughs> I'm going to. Try using willpower for something for yourselves, and let me know how you get on in the comments below. Until the next time, peace out. They're getting worse. I think this needs sorting out. If you watch my vlogs, I'm doing it twice a week and ah. Like for example, when I was saving up money for my holiday. Before I went to LA, I set about saving up as much monkeys. In three months I was able to save, not just for the holiday itself, but, 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 but for the spending money too. I'm doing it twice a week and my eyes now twitching. What the heck? Stop it. Oh, right there. 
stop, stop twitching.